Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. We're continuing our playthrough of the NES classic, Crystallis, and we return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. All right, when last we left our heroes, I know, it's been a little while. I apologize for that. If you're watching on the live stream, then you already got my full apology, and if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, why aren't you watching on Twitch? Go watch on Twitch. Subscribe. Follow. All that good fun stuff. All right, anyway. When last we left, our heroes were in uh, the town of Joel. We've been walking around with a sword of fire and some other good fun stuff. We got recover, which lets us uh, heal ourselves from poisoning and paralysis and that sort of stuff. Uh, teleport, telepathy, paralysis, but let's be honest, refresh is the one that you, you end up using the most, is heal. Um, we got a couple of quest items, we got shield ring, which doubles our range defense, which is always nice. Uh, hopefully, before, before the week is out, I, I hope to get, um, the iron necklace, which doubles your armor bonus. But, uh... We, we got kitted out with the best uh, with the best gear we can, and you'll notice that that if you look, if you look, I'm now level thirteen. Between between the last time and now, I uh, I spent a little bit of time grinding up some XP, and, and that really helped. If you are level nine or higher, best thing I found for grinding out XP is to hop on the dolphin here. Uh, by the way, these guys are only damageable by fire stuff. And you go from this cave to take on this Mr. Octopus. Yeah. Kill any of these guys. I, it's not, I mean, it's not the end of the world. And just go from one of those guys to the other because uh, they are worth... Hang on, I got it somewhere around it. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Uh, each of those octopuses, octopi... Uh, are worth 176 XP a piece. Uh, short of some wraiths that we're going to see in a castle later on, uh, they, they're they're about as good as you're going to get for farmable XP. Just you know, roaming the map, uh, you can get almost as much with the jellyfish at the mouth of the cave. But the octopus gives you a hundred gold, whereas the jellyfish only give you. 30 gold. Now, the this is a game, so more money does not equal more problems. More money <laughs> means you get to solve a few things before they become problems, if you catch where I'm drifting. Alright, so what we need to do now is we need to head on over to Evil Spirit Island. That was next on our... Uh, oh, helps if I return control over to the game. Alright. Which means we gotta go back this way, knock out this guy, and into the cave where you got these guys who are definitely worth the XP, but not worth the <laughs> the gold. So I really thought that was gonna be a good place to farm because there's a lot of these guys clustered in so you can pick up uh, a lot of XP quick. But it doesn't quite work that way. And... If you're not careful, these guys will poison you. There, there's nothing fun about that. I mean, unless you like going through antidotes and stuff. Alright. Take care. Alright. Let's uh, make our way through Evil Spirit Island. We're trying to get to Zombie Town. I, I know, that sounds weird. Alright, uh... Here's what I'm trying to remember, because different guys are vulnerable to different things. So, okay, you are at least vulnerable to fire. That's good to know. I hate random flying things. Oh. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Alright, let's, uh... I... Oop. Die! Quicker! Before you paralyze me. Oh. Ah. 
Yeah, there we go. All right, just out of curiosity. Oh, let's get the ball of water as well. Because I know some of these guys are definitely vulnerable to... Ah! You rat. Okay, so he is at least vulnerable to the water sword. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> the one that I can't charge up because I'm paralyzed. <sighs> okay, there we go. Your body returns to normal. Says you. What about you, Mr. Flying Guy? And, oh, no, it's a dead end for our trouble. Although, those little wyverns of paralysis are worth it fair chunk of XP in an okay amount. Ah! Oh, you bum. Is everything here trying to paralyze you? Alright. Uh, I'm going... I'm going to have to burn another recovery here in a minute. Uh, because... Okay. Seriously. I'm already paralyzed. You can't paralyze me more than I already am. Oh, uh, you need fire. All right, onward and forward, and <laughs> okay. Let's uh, burn our recover again. Your body to normal. For at least a minute. Until the next guy. Uh, I hate those guys. I hate them with a passion. There was another one of the wyverns running around. That, in incidentally, that is what those little green lizard-like looking things are supposed to be. They're supposed to be wyverns, or wyverns, depending on who you talk to. The Jarl sends his regards. Oh wait, no, wrong game. Uh, <laughs> uh, one of the YouTube channels I watched, The Modern Rogue, was doing an episode on hand signals. And one of the two co-hosts, Brian, had his daughters uh, signing to each other to attack him with a paintball gun. Oh, come on. Fine. Where's the next guy? Wait. Oh, no, that is a dead end, isn't it? Okay. Uh, anyway, so so it was an episode on using hand signals. Uh, he had his daughter. Uh, his daughters come at him with a paintball gun, using using the hand signals and. and uh, it all that one of the conversational subtexts for the whole thing was Brian and Jason talking about ooh, a magic ring. No, that wasn't they were talking about a magic ring. Uh, talking about whether uh, the dragons in Skyrim were actual dragons or wyverns or wyverns. And, and yeah, it, it was wonderful and. Oh, this is, uh, no boy. I think, yeah, you are immune to that. Ah, fine. Let's see if I can, all right. Oh, no, that's right. That was the other one. <sighs> I might need to go find a few more rings of magic or something. Oh, wait, no, that's right. We haven't found anybody that sells rings of magic. We, we just got the, the fruits of power. And our magic is too low. Fruit of lime. Magic ring. Uh, no, I don't wish to drop. I wish to equip. It, it never ceases to amaze me how much muscle memory I have for where B and A are supposed to be. Because, remember, when I was playing this game, the Nintendo controllers had a 
and then B. But all these Xbox model controllers have A, then B. I, I know, I know. I, I complained about that earlier on, and it, it doesn't change the problem. Oop. And I needed to change swords. Right, let me destroy that before too long. Uh, let's try that for now. Go away, flying things. Alright, um... Man, 27 defense, and they're still hitting me like that. Alright. I want to go... Go off to that right later. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe. Oh, yikes! Uh, no, this is not the direction I want to go. I ain't playing with the flying guys. All right, let's uh, get on wind sword. Wind, fire, water. We're, we're, we're. We could summon Captain Planet, but we're missing the heart. Oh, you bum. Because. I was going to need to make Water Bolt right there. So, of course he paralyzed me. There we go. The Iron Necklace. That's what I'm after. You see, there, there's not a lot of people throwing projectiles at me. So, doubling my range defense doesn't really help me here. Now, the Iron Necklace, that takes us to a defense of 40, which should help immensely. Uh, we are still going to have to find somewhere that gets us Fruits of Power, though, uh, before too long. Because we got one of the two things we're after. We're after the Iron Necklace, and now... And now we need to somehow <laughs> make our way over to, uh, to Zombie Town. Which still sounds like a really weird thing to say. Where did I... Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Well, let's just, you know what? I ain't playing with them. Last thing I need to do is get paralyzed right before him. Uh, oh! <sighs> oh. <laughs> that wasn't quite what I wanted to do, but... Oh, yep, there we go. Let me, um... Switch that over. Oh, are you kidding me? I wish I could push you off the ledge. Uh, incidentally, if, if you go off that ledge, you end up... Uh, If you go off that ledge, you end up back down on the ground where you started earlier. Oh. Useful. I forgot that those were the, uh, the other way to... <laughs> okay. I forgot that the lysis plant was the other way to manage paralysis. Alright, let me, uh, let me, hang on, let me do a quick, uh, save state. Just, uh, I had a bad feeling about this. We are now in Zombie Town. So, we came through the Evil Spirit Island Caves. We gotta go to Zombie Town. And you'll find out why here in just a minute. Oh, we can't go in there. We can go in here. And if you look carefully, 
Hey! I'm Clark. Remember Clark? Clark was missing. I came from Joel to check this place out. A woman sorcerer is here. She came from Dragonia and she changed all the people here into zombies. Sabira is very clever. Be careful. Uh, Sabira is the second of the final four. Was it the final four? Or, no, the finest four. Final four is, is the, um, the, the tournament that you can't utter the name of because otherwise... Uh, oh, okay, good. Oh, hey, he's like me before coffee. Alright, here we go. Let's, uh, can we save? Save this game? Oh, yes. Okay, good. So, we're about to hit a bit of a slog. And unfortunately, I don't think teleport will take us back here. So we're, we're like, we're running short on all the things that we really, really need. Like, I don't know magic, uh, fruits of power and that sorts of thing. Although you only get eight slots. Uh, the medical herbs kind of nice. The lysis plants are nice to get through the cave, but I mean, yeah. Sorry. Okay. I mean, the warp roots are always nice to have, and I probably shouldn't have bought that alarm flute at quite so early now that I think about it. Alright. That's it. YOLO. Now... Okay. These guys are, yeah, okay, okay, okay. This is a little bit of a maze, but... You know what? Before I dive in, because th this is going to take a little while to get through a surprise reappearing boss and our new boss, same as the old boss. No. <laughs> uh, let me, uh, let me take a quick break. And then we'll, uh, and then we'll go on to Sabira's castle. Well, that was fun. Unless I died. Then it was a little less fun. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. The next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow's a live stream day. The current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, do follow in Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live, allowing you to chat along as we record the next six episodes. Or chat along with whatever else I got going on. I do a variety of things, just like here. Speaking of here, if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Click the bell and you'll no get notified of all the new content produced from future Games Revisited episodes to Coffee Craft Livestream Archives, Instrument Repair, Upgrades and Construction, and uh, anything else that strikes my fancy. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, quips, queries, quandaries, quotes, complaints, comments, or quibbles, just uh, leave those in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.